Hello and welcome. We're here at the Security Zone at Google Next with Projector, who is one of Google's leading experts in denial of service attacks. Hi, Projector. Hi, Cassie, and thank you for having me. When companies deploy internet-facing services, one of the biggest problems they encounter is denial of service attacks. So our customers have a tough job. They want to quickly and responsively serve their end users, and at the same time, they need to defend their internet-facing services against malicious attacks. And denial of service attacks are getting much larger, they're getting much more sophisticated, and security teams need to be prepared for them. So let's look at an example. Let's say you're the infrastructure manager for an online retailer, and it's Black Friday, the busiest day of the year for you, and you've got an important job. You need to make sure that the website and app stay up and running. So Black Friday has started, and here we can see all of the successful transactions represented as, as boxes coming into the application servers. Everything looks to be running smoothly now, but let's see what happens once an attack is launched. Awesome, do your worst. The first attack I'm going to launch is a high volume DDoS attack. I'm going to use this to try and overwhelm the servers with malicious traffic. We can see that the application instances are being overwhelmed by the malicious traffic from the attacker's servers. If this amount of traffic keeps hitting the application instances, they'll get overloaded and they'll go down. That's correct. Shoppers on the website are already getting a slow load time and the website is going to start crashing. Now, as the infrastructure manager, you do have some tools at your disposal to manage this. What do you think would be the best way to go handle this? I'm going to go with infrastructure DDoS protection using Google Global Load Balancer. Great choice. After you enable the Google Global Load Balancer, the application instances are back up and running, and shoppers are now able to access the site without a problem. Now, in this example, you turned on this defense in the middle of a live attack but in reality, you would have actually already set up your services behind the global load balancer prior to Black Friday. But Black Friday isn't over yet. In fact, our shoppers are just getting started. Let's see what happens when the attacker launches an application attack this time. This time, I'm going to launch a SQL injection attack. So now our attacker is sending in SQL injection packets in an attempt to bring down our service and steal data. With SQL injection, one little flaw in one little feature of your application can compromise all the data for your app. Again, you've got some tools at your disposal. What do you think is a good defense for this type of attack? I'd pick Cloud Armor SQL injection defense. Good choice again. This Cloud Armor rule acts as a defense to these types of attacks by automatically identifying malicious SQL injection packets and blocking them before they hit your application instances. Without Cloud Armor, you would have to first detect SQL injection attack and then react, remediate, and also fix your code and data. Got it. So this means just enabling this single rule would defend our app against all SQL injection attacks. That's correct. But the day isn't done yet, and our sophisticated attacker is going to come at us again. For this last attack, I'm going to use a multi-vector attack, which is going to hit the application instances using multiple different types of attack vectors all at once. Now we can see that a multi-vector attack is hitting the servers and trying to take them out. And it looks like all of this traffic is coming from one region. Again, the service is slowing down, and our shoppers aren't able to submit their orders. After analyzing this attack, we find out that it's coming from a single location with a specific type of cookie and user agent. Aha, uh -huh. so maybe we could create a custom rule in Cloud Armor that looks for this cookie and user agent in the traffic coming from the region? Exactly, that's correct. Now you see the Cloud Armor custom rule blocking the traffic that matches our specified pattern, which helps keep our service up and running. I feel like now I know a lot more about what our retail customers have to deal with on Black Friday. I have a lot more empathy for them. It's pretty challenging. With Google Cloud's tools to help defend and scale against this infrastructure and application denial of service attacks in place, you can actually focus on building great software and great customer experiences. Thanks so much for walking us through this demo, Projector. And thank you, Srina, for this uh, very admirable attack attempt. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jesse.